Hello everybody, in this video we're going to test 6 different assault rifles. Alright, we're going to have the Milwaukee divided with stand, Psalm 11.6, uh, um, the Copper Head, D5 Copper Head, the Moron Lab, and the Ajax, the M2051S Ajax. Alright, so again, keep in mind, you can get it with different roles, probably variation of DPS. Uh, still, all of them except the smart. You're gonna put uh, the one that nullifies the counter mass that nullifies the recoil, vertical recoil, and we're gonna check which one uh, you know performs better overall. So we start with uh, I already do it with the worst to the best. So the one that I was least uh, um, excited about is the Milwaukee. This one is just you know you see this reduces weapons weight by fifty percent, and I accepted this one to be so accurate because the attack speed is slow. Right, so I should get some, very, you know, to be very accurate weapon, probably the most accurate assault rifles in the game. But this is not the case, right? So just quickly going to take a look at this weapon, so you can see how it looks like. Let's remove the depth of field. So this is how it looks like. All right, this is the weapon. Nice. So let me show you why I don't like it, and this is really crazy. This is actually, uh, let's say it like this. This is not uh this is unacceptable unacceptable for the start of the weapon this will definitely needs a buff all right take a look at the sway ready look at the sway just crazy and this is reduced sway <laughs> what would happen if this way you know didn't exist this perk didn't exist this is just crazy let's shoot from the hip it's just crazy And I'm going to quickly, you can actually see, look at this way. And this, I'm just shooting burst. I can't shoot, by the way, I'm pressing and shooting. I can more, I can shoot more. So these are, you know, shooting bursts. This should be the most accurate assault rifle on paper, theoretically, but it's not. It just absolutely turned to be a terrible, terrible weapon. And uh, other than this, nothing actually makes this one a good one. This is just easily one that you can pass. Unless they're going to buff it in a way. It should be super accurate, but it's not. All right, so Nuwaki, definitely last place here, without a doubt. Let's move on. Now, in the fifth place, we have the Ajax. You can say it has beaten Ricochet engines. So you can actually, if you're building something around Ricochet. I personally didn't find anything that actually makes me be able to benchmark this one to actually say if it's good or not. So I tested the overall weapon performance. And again, you can get it with very few perks. The headshot damage multiplier here is bad. And again, just uh, crit damage, no, you know, no crit chance. But this has a built-in uh, effect. You can get it at 10%, which is nice. Um, it's a power assault rifle, as you can see. So let's test it out and see how this one feels overall. So we have the Ajax. I usually can't see the small letter. Yeah, that's the Ajax. So let's see how it looks like. So that's the Ajax. Again, nothing special in terms of look, in my opinion. Kind of a plane, right? Melee attack. Nothing special. All right. How it plays. Let's shoot with it a bit and see how it plays. The rat's coming now, this one, what <laughs> interesting about one, it feels like you're shooting in slow motion. Just take a look. This way, the, the time that it takes to this way to get to, you know, to relax, it's so long. And that's why it feels like you're shooting in slow motion. But you saw this instant uh, reload? It's crazy, just crazy. Just crazy. Uh, by the way, uh, important to note, I just want to show you quickly, that again, it's not optimal build, keep this in mind, but I did uh, upgrade almost completely the assault rifles. You can see the other ones, the body, right, we have here. What I actually used. Uh, technical, you know, to complement for engineering. So we have the four smart weapons, all right, and the uh, cool with cold blood. That's why we have this really fast reloading speed, like instant. When I sometimes, yeah, it's not all the time. Depends on the you know the cold blood uh, stack. And you can just instantly reload, and it's crazy. So this why I don't like this one. This look at this, look at this. How it's just kind of slow. It's accurate weapon. I'm going to show you the spread. It's, not, it's accurate weapon. I'm just going to shoot. When I shoot, maybe you see there's a sway left, but it's still accurate. If I shoot with burst, see, 
it's very very ac very very accurate so you see this one just feels like you know like i'm taking my time it's okay i get a few bullets in between and no rush you just feel like the this delay that you see with this way is just annoying 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 uh but overall it's a, it's a, an accurate weapon um it's a accurate weapon overall but just feels like just feels off definitely there are better ones i'm going to move on to the next now in the fourth place we have the copperhead now this one is kind of an interesting one first of all it's a power assault rifle not unique as you can see doesn't have any special perk uh but uh it's fast relatively fast in terms of attack per second and um i got it with nice uh, stats quick chance quick damage bleeding extra damage multiply but this one is kind of uh, interesting when i put it with uh cold blood you know that reduces the recall actually it kind of balanced the sway so it becomes very very accurate and i'm going to show you but without this it's kind of a losing it so first of all let's take a look at the oh sorry how it looks kind of a more futuristic design uh, not something you know super interesting still looks nice all right so this is the weapon all right so i'm going to show you for this i need to eliminate enemies so you can actually see this It's very, very, it's very, very accurate. The thing is, is I'm, I'm searching for more enemies, so you can actually see. The thing is that, in terms of sway, when the cold blood was active, it's kind of a shoot, you can see that it just dances around the center. See? It doesn't go like left or totally la uh, right or totally left. It just it's kind of a dances around the same area, which is nice. Because some others, if you shoot, it's just going to go like this or like this. So in terms of the, uh, the sway, the horizontile... Uh, because it actually performs well and uh, that's what i like about it more consistent especially once cold blood is active it just become a very accurate weapon let's hopefully we're gonna get some nice uh engagement here when you go back and you can actually see what i mean need more enemies so yeah all right let's do this it's just very accurate just feel accurate and that's what i like about it. i don't i don't like the sound of it but it's very, it feels very, very accurate, you see? Pay attention to the sway. Yeah, so overall, the, the corporate performance is, is, is very good. Very good, that's why I like it. It's very good. I'm quite surprised because I got so many of them early game. And this can hold on well even, you know, later in game. Although, again, between us, in late game, even late game, it's not that hard, right? But still, in terms of performance... It's really feels just accurate and snappy. Overall, this one earned a very good place. Definitely recommend checking out if you haven't done so. So let's move on to the next one. All right, in the third place we have the Moron Lev. As you can see here, this is an iconic power assault rifle. Uh, nice uh, attack per second, as you can see. Um, and I got it with nice uh, stats. The crit chance, you can see the crit damage, 50% crit chance. Uh, bleeding chance 10%, 3 extra damage multiplier. And you can see the perk is increased fire rate, chance to dismember enemies, which is pretty cool. Uh, and it's probably one of the more baddest looking weapons, in my opinion. I'm gonna take a look. Oh, sorry. Uh, yeah. Uh, N. Alright, uh, let's just change the depth of field again. So you can clearly see how it looks. With those skulls. I love this one. This one looks pretty cool. Badass weapon. I love this look of this weapon. All right. So, and the thing, the other thing I like about the weapon is how it sound. You know when you have these snaps when you get it with the uh, smart weapons? It just feels like this. this. But although this is not a smart weapon, it just feels like this. It just snaps. And it's very, very accurate. Just feels like it's very, very snappy. I'm going to show you the spread, by the way. Look at this, when you do short bursts. It's just perfect, 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 perfect. So, it's amazing. And if I shoot like, uh, you know, long, you can see that it also dances like around the center, but even the, the spread of the bullets here when shooting for a longer time, it's very, very tight. So the spread of the bullets is amazing, very impressive, and feels like a specs of weapon in a way. So this is one of the reasons why I enjoy this one so much. So accurate, feels great, looks great. As many, many, we need to buy bullets, by the way. So an amazing, amazing assault rifle. All right, so let's move on to the next one. All right, in the second place, well, this is a weapon that I use 
all the time. It's on me on the slot, keeping one slot. And this is the Psalm uh, 11.6. Why I love it? Because I like the fact that he has a base high chance burn. The branches you see here 40 is because it's amplified uh, with um, the combat amplifier. But the base itself is high. And this why this is X like a flame for. It is high damage as well. Not just impressive to the other one, but it also burns as a high chance of burn. And this actually invites you to put more burn and to burn enemies. And if you like kind of a build where you burn things and deal damage over time, you're going to enjoy this one. But still, it's very powerful in its own right. It's a power assault rifle, as you can see, iconic legendary one. In this case, uh, thermal damage here in my stats, crit chance, uh, crit damage, the burn chest amplified, extra damage multiplied 3.5. Uh, again, we are not benchmarking damage, but this one is just a beast. And you can see its performance very, very soon. We're going to check the spread and everything. But again, the one thing that I want to show you that if you go with a, a build regarding burning enemies, you can see that one, two shots and you are burning enemies. Look at this. Uh, this one actually... Well, I didn't want to eliminate you. I'm sorry. It's too... I just want to show you that even with one shot, you can... Yeah, enemies will just burn. You can take cover, just one shot, snipe somebody, and you just burn. Look at this. This one survived. Burn. Then we just burn. Look at this. So much fun, so much fun. So imagine shooting more than one bullet, right? <laughs> one bullet. <laughs> oh. This is something so entertaining. As you can see, it's very, very accurate assault rifle as well so because it's accurate you can just put off the burns if somebody somebody hides one shot and you can just burn them even for the leg look okay sorry <laughs> all right now let's check out the spread so overall it's, you know it just Kind of enjoy so many great things that I love about weapons in general. So, if you shoot small, you can see that the spread is good. Not as the other one, but still very, very good. If you shoot fast, it dances around. You see the center. So you get kind of a, uh, you know, a not. It doesn't go like this. No, like the other, like some of the other ones. Not as large, but you know what I mean. It just doesn't sway only right, only left. It's kind of a dance around the center, which is an advantage. Uh, and it's accurate enough uh, for short birds to deal shots. It deals, you know, the base burning chance is high, and uh, it's a powerful weapon overall. Or oh, this is one, the one that I just enjoy playing. Fun factor, this is just great. It doesn't sound, uh, you know, same as the previous one. Uh, as great, but it just looks. Uh, by the way, I haven't shown you. I haven't shown you the look. It looks really nice. Take a look. With the fire, you know, because it was designed to burn. Because it was designed to burn. And if you look at this, I'm going to show you. Uh, take a look. Uh, letting rain cools on the wicked. Fire and sulfur. And a uh, scorching wind shall be the portion of their cup. <laughs> oh, it's crazy. So overall, this is one hell. Literally hell of a weapon. And definitely... This is why it positioned so high. Absolutely, but still using it now. A terrific, terrific, all around great assault rifle. Let's move on to the next one. Now, the first one on my list is Divided with Stand. This is the Smart Assault Rifle, a legendary iconic one. Uh, I crafted it, by the way. I'm going to show you can actually, if you craft it. Uh, where is it? Divided with Stand, of course, you need the epic one, but you can see here a uh, great item with random uh, stat. You can get a uh, crit chance, crit damage. Bleeding chance, burn chance, poison chance, shock chance, and also one of the chemical, electrical, poison, and thermal. This one that I have is with uh, uh, poison chance. By the way, the poison chance here is amplified because of the combat amplifier. And why I like it, and I didn't do it here in this particular bit for this task, but because it actually synergizes with these ones. So we can have, you can see, um, not this one, sorry. Um, yeah, this one. Enemies affected by poison are slowed, and you have this one as well. Damage from poison is doubled. Pretty cool. But again, you need to invest in cool in order to do this. If you are invested well, you're gonna you are lucky to, to enjoy these ones as well. 
Uh, other than this, you can see that a modified automatic targeting system allows the weapon to target up to five targets simultaneously. Bullets deal chemical damage with the eye chance to apply poison. All right, so it locks onto five enemies so you don't need to wait between locks it's already locked on them so you eliminate the first one it's going to move to the next enemy and this one going to help you to clear the map so fast and it sounds great it looks great it's just a fantastic weapon so this is how it looks like so like the other ones we're going to show you let's get close this one if you don't want to want to know how to get it check out my channel Divided with stand, you're gonna fight it. A fantastic, beautiful, beautiful weapon. And now let's play with it and and have some fun. Basically, you don't need the vertical recoil because bullets are just gonna home. Make sure you have, by the way, the cyber uh, smart link, so we can actually take advantage of the homing bullets, right? And you can shoot behind cover with this, and you can actually, because of this, if I'm hiding, I can actually get even more damage with some of the skills. So and I still shoot enemies behind cover. So again, you can create really interesting builds and powerful builds with it. So let's see. We're going to come back soon after they spawn. Oh, they already spawned. All right. Now, the other advantage, by the way, to keep in mind that when I'm targeting enemies, unlike other weapons, I won't be able to shoot innocent civilians. This is a big advantage that I don't think many mention. So the, the thing is that... The thing is that... Just a second. So the thing is that you're going to only target uh, enemies right so we won't eat when i'm shooting some for example with these weapons i can accidentally trigger the police and uh, police will come because i'm shooting bullets and one of the bullets can actually eat an innocent civilian but this one it won't happen and i'm going to show you right look at this right you're looking i'm just going to eliminate it won't shoot innocent civilian so i can just eliminate the enemies it's pretty cool where you are in a situation like this, where they are. By the way, look how fast I'm actually eliminating them. It's crazy. And there were civilians and I actually shot at them. I want to show you something. Look at this. Oh, I ate actually one by mistake. But if there was uh, enemies here, it would lock on the enemies. It won't shoot them. If you just shoot them straight, like one shot. Yeah, police will come. All right. <laughs> but if you are doing this, but usually when you are aiming at enemies, uh, it just shoot the enemies, not on the... Uh, uh, sure, that name is not on the civilians. Now, usually we just talk about, you know, the DPS, but the thing is, with some weapons, you need to aim and it takes time, move to the other. With this weapon, you're just going to eliminate enemies so fast. Even high target enemies, you're going to deal damage and you're going to just wipe the enemies so fast, completely if you need to aim, one by one, you know, and... Uh, Hopefully in deal season uh, when you have more tougher challenges uh, You can really enjoy shooting behind cover and do something I'm going to show you one of the cool things about smart weapon in general if you play you probably already know about it Right Since we don't have enemies here I'll show you in a second is what we do is you just hide and Shoot enemies behind cover. It's pretty cool see here for example look at this you see them I, oh no don't kill me this build that i created all right nice you see i'm looking on them look look what happened i'm just shoot you see i don't even need to look at them i'm just behind cover pretty cool yeah so overall divided we stands take the first place and i really like enjoying building uh a build around this one amplifying it with the skills you know with the poison especially uh, but overall you just clear enemies very fast uh when you get in you don't actually eat civilians uh, most of the time if you just you know because it targets only uh the bad guys uh it's fast it's fun to shoot enemies behind cover use some actually synergy with actually being behind cover and shooting enemies so many great things going for this weapon lose great sound great just an amazing amazing assault rifle so this is it for this video waiting for your opinion which weapon you think is better among these six well, if you enjoyed this one give a like if you do and consider subscribing to my channel i see you very soon on the next video cheers everyone bye bye